quick statement concerning what happened in Atlanta at the Sakari Passover. And as you know, uh, most of you probably seen the video. You heard about the video, you seen the video, and more than likely you made a comment about the videos that you seen. And yes, the video was was strikingly uh, kind of uh, harsh and and emotionally uh, somewhat disturbing. But nevertheless, um, the Mosai shows us we got to use some emotional restraint uh, when we're dealing with situations like this. And so it's the position of the Masharaya Allah. Uh, not to put out a statement until we gather all the facts, until we gather all the information. That's what we're supposed to do. A lot of, a lot of brothers, a lot of Israelite camps and schools and brothers put out information right away. You don't know what happened. All you did was see something, but you don't know what happened and how it got to that point. So... Uh, it's a position of the martial arts Allah not to put out a statement uh, until we get all the facts and information. And so that's what we did. So that's why we're putting it out now so that you can understand the position of the martial arts Allah. We do not condone that. OK, that kind of behavior. Uh, the Sakari camp had their Passover. OK, they had their Passover and uh, they had it in some uh, type of club. OK, now. The problem is everybody put out there to some kind of strip club, okay, where these women were stripping. It was not a strip club. Okay, where these women were stripping, it was not a strip club. So let's get that understanding right off the bat. Well, it wasn't a strip club. The strip, what does the Bible say about tail bearing? Tail bearing. But it was a type of club where they serve drinks and everything. And then the woman come out scantily clad, okay, with hardly no clothes on, okay? So now you may ask, now what was Sakari doing in a club like that uh, after their Sabbath service, after their Passover service, which we know, of course, is a Sabbath? So why was uh, the Sakari camp in there? So, of course, uh, that was a mistake by the Sakari and of course, you know, Gorilla Hebrew, who's over that camp, they made a mistake. Okay, they should not have been in that club. And we understand it was a mistake. They should not have been in that club after the service. But the problem with Israel is that we uh, run to judgment too fast. We got to gather all the facts. Not an evil judgment. Uh, understand, like he got to be destroyed, and, and you're throwing jabs at him, and and you know Sakari, that's it for Sakari, that's it for him. It's over. Okay, so we gotta again as a nation, we gotta begin to build one another up. So we gotta gather all the facts. So we gotta gather all the facts. So we gotta gather all the facts. So we gotta gather all. The I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim. Rachel Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, other elders, and you Akiyam scattered abroad doing this work. Shalom to you, few, your fellow laborers, few sisters, and followers of the truth. And let me say, as we always say at Great Millstone, shalom to the elect. Um, I want to do this video. This is actually a response off of Apostle Gabar's video, Daily Edification, Daily Exhortation to Banyamyun, right? So, um, the video is titled, Go Along to Get Along, False Israelite Teachers Who Sway Judgment Shall Be Destroyed, you know? Uh, if there was a book being written, that would be a great title for these unity camps, right? So, I want to go on a couple things Barak said, Elder Barak. Again, this video, I mean, you people tend to find that it's an issue with us when we, uh, we're we correcting you that we just ha hate you, hatred. And this is what the Queen of Heaven spirit is. You know, the, you know, you know our women, they do what they do and, you know, nobody knows what they're going through. We're having troubles and, and then this is the same spirit, the same behavior. 
what happened to that raw correction, man? What happened to that, hey, I was going off the water. The scripture says wise men love rebukes. We see the, the janitorial service, you know. Galatians 4 and 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? So Barack admitted, Elder Barack, he admitted. Now he's he's HODC. He's over the Sakari camp and Mashara Yasharala, right? Now he admitted that everybody jumped to the, the conclusion right off the top. Now if it was a video, or not even a video, it was an audio, and you heard Sakari, or you heard the Israelites in there, that would be different. But when you get video and audio, this would be a no-brainer in the courthouse. I mean, which we don't deal with that, but um, when righteous judgment, let me say that. This is a no-brainer, as they say, you know. So Barack says, we got to get the facts. But yet he admitted Sakari did a made a mistake. So if he made a mistake and Sakari made a mistake, it's okay for Barack to step up and say he made a mistake. But what should what should happen is the Sakari and the rest of them should say, we went off. Salakia brothers, may the Lord have mercy on us. May we repent. May we try to do this again. May we we're sorry. So lucky if I offended all of Israel, which scriptures say you're supposed to, you know, you offend brothers. But this is what goes on. This always a, is a brother, uh, as I use Cornass, he has a different screen name. He always say the janitorial crew, man, you know, the cleanup. So he admitted that there's something wrong with what happened. But then he said nobody should be so quick to judge. The scripture says he that is spiritual judge of all things. We could clearly see, and I only put clips of the Passover, I mean that in there. They said it was after the Passover, which you were still in the Sabbath or whatever. You're in the uh, Feast of Unleavened Breads. And even if that wasn't the case, you should not conduct yourselves as an Israelite, as Israelites, in that manner, displaying it all upon YouTube. You're going to do it privately? <laughs> That's one thing. But guys got garments on. They got garments on. Head wraps, garments. Showing the customs of our people. Borders are blue. What do you think the garments are for? This is crazy, man. So, you know, Barack, he says he don't know what happened. But did you see the cameras? We don't know the facts. <laughs> did you see what happened? Then he says it was not a strip club. It was a club that they shouldn't have been in. Well, when you take strippers and bring them to a club, that's why it's called a strip club. If you take strippers and bring them into your house, it's a strip house. Right? It's not the building, just like your house. Your house is only a house when you have people in the house. That's what makes it a house, which makes it a family. This is why you call it the house of Israel. Because it's a people before an actual building or the actual temp, uh, physical temple it's a spiritual thing so when you got your garments on and you're out there prophesying and you're going to a building and you got strippers and what he say in um, uh, scantily clad <laughs> uh, you know what let's get um and this is why we and I'll get to a couple of comments and this is why we do what we do you know this is why we do what we do um, Ephesians 5 and 11 it says and have no fellowship it says um, let me just go on down uh, it says and let me go to 5 and 3 for ye were sometimes in uh, sometimes darkness but now ye light uh, but now are ye light in the Lord walk as children of the light for the fruit of the spirit is on all goodness and righteousness in truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, and having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Right? This is why us as Israelites, and we'll say Great Millstone, we don't have un we don't have any fellowship with these unity camps. But we will reprove you. Because you're going off. 
Let's look at this word reprove. Uh, G, one sixty five. Uh, I believe it's one sixty five. Um, let's look up this word. It says reprove. Salakia, but have no fellowship. Reprove G sixteen fifty one. It says to convict, refute, confute, generally with suggestion of shame of the person convicted. This is an excuse. And what we see here, what Barack is doing, Elder Barack, you're making an excuse. You're making it as though we're still not men in the flesh. You know, there's, when you go into the word perfection, it actually means something else than what you think, but we're not perfect in the flesh, so to speak. So what you're doing is you're justifying being able to and condoning this behavior and you shouldn't be doing that you are you allowing them and this is what we say about the queen of heaven this is why people get away with doing what they do because there's no fear in the lord oh boy by conviction to bring to light to expose to find fault with and correct so people who when they put these videos out and we start doing videos in various other camps and people start doing videos, this is what's being what is what is happening. You're being reproved. And you, and you men that's been in the truth all those years, you should know that. I don't think anybody really on a high level as a camp will want to accept that. But the bottom line is no matter what if it's according like we've gotten so-called shamed on things that shouldn't have been shamed on and maybe some people eyes maybe so like the 12 year old thing or 13 year old woman which we never taught to mess with 12 year old young ladies we do know in the ancient times it happened because the 12 year old um, mentality of a woman was different than one today right it's totally different you, you know the most high said he took our our, our heritage all right uh, anyway to reprehend severely, uh, admonish, to reprove, to call to account, meaning call out, show one his fault, to demand an explanation, to chasten, to punish. The scripture says the Lord chastens who he loves, man. So, you know, when you sit up there and take away from the fact of uh, uh, the reproof, you're taking that glory away from the Sakari and yourselves. Um, let's go to the comment board. Uh, Kana, Kanya, Aliyah, Yehuda. Truly wise words. Blessing, Elder. I'm just scrolling through. People try to bring fake counsel, culture. Like what? Uh, well stated, Elder Barak. May Yahweh continue to guide your pure righteousness. So this tells you in the behavior of a, a, an occultic manner where people can do all kinds of things and it doesn't matter what it is and I'm not going to label it or say it on, on video because of YouTube you know sensitivity but there's people who can do heinous things to people and use the Bible and then go and say well and make it and get an elder up here with the gray hair and been doing it so many years and say well, this is what happened. We don't condone it. We don't condone that, but people shouldn't be judged. We should still love and we should still do this and do that. Which I agree that he said, you know, we shouldn't be doing it in evil and in maliciousness. No, we're supposed to be doing it in the manner of love. And that's what it is. But I don't think people understand what love is. People think love is just sweeping it under the rug, being a janitorial. Well stated, Elder Barack. I'm glad you cleaned it up. No, it's not cleaned up. Well, yeah, he did clean it up. He took the mop and swept it under the rug and, and put a glow on it. What happens with a stain? You got a stain or rust, and then you paint over the rust. You cover it up, but it shows again. Shalom, brothers. Shalom, Elder Khan. This is crazy. He, for a just man, fall of seven times. Right. When you uh, when you adjust man and you fall and you get back up, 
You have to confess your fault. You have to say, we were wrong. It was a mistake. Satan got a hold of us. So my uh, Marilla uh, Bustamante, there was lots of witnesses that wrote about what had occurred and had photos and videos. And she, this woman is correct. You're just trying to sweep this all under the rug. You know, 1 Corinthians 10, 21. Ye cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and a cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and a table of devils. Point blank. You can't sit up there and have a strip club or go to any club, invite strippers in, in the Passover, on a Sabbath, and then they shaking their asses in the cameras, right? And then you come up the next day after we record this and after you post it all over social media, then you say, you got to get the facts. Stop the tail burning. Don't do this. Don't do that. When the proof is right there, you've done it. It's in your face. It's out in the open. There's no excuse. There's no way. That's like somebody pulling out a gun and shooting somebody. And then you got to get the facts. What facts? You pulled out a gun and you shot somebody. Of course, the facts will be who started it. But that doesn't matter. Because according to the scriptures, when, when you see evil being committed, you are not to commit evil. This is crazy, man. And it's crazy how... This man has managed to sweep this straight under the rug. He just swept it up. It's cleanup time. Confess your faults, man. The bottom line is we're calling it out for correction so this won't happen again. And for the people who don't believe and has a problem with the, the, the uh, One West camps. See, this is what One West does. When I tell you what One West has done, it has waken up a lot of our people and brought a lot of our people to the light. A lot of you people that teach privately on the internet, which is fine if that's what you do, you're not in the masses of the, the, the righteousness, right? Matthew 22 and 9 says, go ye to the highways and the head, hedges and bid to the marriage, right? So it's us. So you people that ain't even in one West really shouldn't even be sitting up there doing videos on it. This is a, when they say in-house, this is our thing, you know, this is our thing. You can make videos. It's a free world, so to speak. So you think. You can make videos on it if that's what you want to do. The bottom line is you're not bringing any justice. And, and if anybody stays out, that's because the Lord wanted to keep them out. It's just for us, when we correct these people, we're correcting these camps, these brothers, because they're going off. So how can you have a unity camp and none of you united? That's all I have on that. Shalom.